finally, after so much preparation, it comes to the time when you are having an interview for your dream job. Congratulations! And in this episode, I will teach you some mind tricks so that you can perform at your peak state when you are there. First, let's admit to the fact that you already have what it takes for the job. Because if not, you won't be invited for interviews. Remember, your resume could only get you an interview opportunity. And job interviews could lead you to job offers. Now, is your showtime to let them know how great you are. Fact number two, your mind as well as your body is very powerful and they are connected. So when you care so much about this important meeting, your body responses with a faster heartbeat, sweating palms and butterflies in your stomach. Recognize that these are just signals from your body that it is getting excited. Your body just wants to prepare you to be your best. Be thankful for such a healthy body that is always supportive. Fact number three, interviewing is just a conversation. And therefore, be genuine, be your best self that is not self-defeating. Be interested in your interviewer and the company. And the most importantly, be a good conversationalist that people enjoy talking to. All right, so on the interviewing day, here are my tips for you in sequences. To begin with, let's do some morning exercise. One, deep breathing. Begin your morning by taking more oxygen to your brain. Take a deep breath in, hold and count one, two, three. Then breathe out with a ha ah, relieving sound. Repeat the breathing exercise for 10 more times and your body should feel a bit warmer by then. Next, we work on the body. When your mind is stressed, your muscles go tense as well. So do some stretches, shake your limbs, rotate your neck and torso to keep the blood flowing. And if you like, play your favorite party music and dance with a smile on your face for just a few minutes. Next, let's do an empowerment visualization together. Turn your face to the sun or a bright light and close your eyes. Spread your arms into the sky, take a powerful and deep breath in, and as you breathe in, imagine the rate of sunlight flows through the top of your head into your body. You are now energized, and as you breathe out, see the light circulates throughout your whole body. Today is your day to shine. Continue for a couple of breaths here, and then you are ready for your usual morning routines. Also, take the time to loosen up your facial muscles, like saying the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, in an exaggerated way. Like the photo here, although it's not very pleasing to the eyes, but I hope you get the idea. You should look silly in this and it helps in your interview expression later on when your face is more relaxed. Next, here is a mental exercise you can do during your commute. At Zoom, you could read your interviewer's mind and here is what he or she is thinking. Wow, we are curious. We love your smart brain and we value your ideas. We just want to get to know you more. So tell us what inspired you to apply for this position. What's your idea on how you can help us to do things even better around here? And then start brainstorming for the answers. Now, besides confidence preparation, you can also take the time to review your notes and browse through your career story bank. I would also suggest you to arrive slightly early usually at least 15 minutes earlier before the appointment time 
but not too early to catch the stuff and prepare, which could be very embarrassing. Now here's a technique called the magical doll frame. This technique is inspired by the Chinese opera performance, where the performers would go through a tiger gate when they enter and leave the stage. In that few seconds, they will forget who they are and immerse themselves fully into the characters. It's like a ritual before role play. So when you step into the building of where the interviewing is going to take place, Imagine you are going through a magical door frame and tell yourself In the coming 60 minutes, I'll show whoever I meet my top three competencies which are those who are the most relevant to the job For example, I am a powerful communicator I am a master project manager I am so creative to solve problems by thinking out of the box. Usually our attention span is very limited for both the interviewers and the interviewees, so it's a wonderful technique to help you concentrate on only three key points in your interviews. Now you arrive at the meeting place and if you arrive early, you can excuse yourself to the washroom and do some final tricks to calm your nerves. The power poses were introduced by a Harvard social psychologist, Amy Goody, who gave a TED talk in 2012 and explained the scientific evidence that standing or sitting in a certain way, even for just two minutes, could effectively lower your stress hormone. As you can see from the pictures here, all the power poses involve opening up your chest and occupying more space around you to have the feeling that you are in control. You can also try to do the starfish up posture as demonstrated in person by Amy Goody below. Do one of these poses for two minutes privately and you will definitely feel more relaxed. After you step into the waiting room, Remind yourself to sit up straight and maintain an open and positive body language. Please understand that you are under observation starting from the moment when you step into the office building, so you better behave. And if you are waiting together with other candidates, be friendly, smile, and make some cheat checks. Sometimes when you are under stress, it could feel like having difficulties in breathing, or you feel like the middle of your chest is stuck somehow. According to reflexology and traditional Chinese medicine theory, there are several energy points or acupuncture points on your hands which are helpful in releasing physical discomfort. Like the big fat area below your thumb, as shown in the picture, there are some energy points in this area that protect the heart and relieve the difficulty in breathing. To do this, stimulate this area by rubbing against another hand and make it warm. And do this action for 2 minutes and you will feel better. Now when the HR colleague is leading you to the interview room, you can make some small talks before the real interview begins. After all, interviewing is just a conversation. Phrases you can use while you're walking towards the room are Thanks for inviting me to this interview. It is positioned based in this office. How many people work here? Or make observations about the office. Like, the office is impressive. I love open office. Also, when you have sat down, usually the interviewer will make small talks with you to calm you down. The common topics could be the weather, your journey here, and where you're living. Now I would like to talk a bit more about body language and what you have to mind for during an interview. First, be humble, polite, and follow the lead of the receptionist who brings you to the room. Close the door behind you if appropriate. 
when you meet the interviewer, extend a firm, welcoming handshake with confident eye contact and smile. Place your film portfolio on the desk and other belongings near your foot, so you won't grab them in front of your chest or behind your back, which makes your postures unnatural. During the interview, you may like to mirror the gesture and facial expression of your interviewer to be report. Keep your hands at levels in front of your stomach to navel, so it gives a centered image when you talk. At the end of the interview, gather your belongings calmly, stand up smoothly, smile, nod your head, and say thank you when you are leaving the room. Having spent so much time and effort in preparation, sometimes you might feel like you are reading out from the scripts. Now, remind yourself that you are telling your personal story to a new person, which is your interviewer. So to be genuine, the energy level and the emotions of how you are telling it have to match with the contents of the story. Meaning, your heart and the brain have to go hand in hand in the moment of storytelling. And the trick is, speak like the story is happening right now. Finally, what to do if your mind goes blank during an interview? Sometimes things happen. Your mind simply doesn't function for a few seconds. In this case, here are six tips for you. 1. Get back to your breathing. Your brain is out of oxygen, so breathe. 2. Smile and make a little joke to relax the atmosphere. Like, you know what, I forgot to have my coffee this morning. 3. Ask for a clarification of the question to find time. 4. Ask for a few seconds to think about that. Usually, the interviewer will be very understanding and let you do so. 5. Go back to your memory palace. Visualize and take a story that matches the most. And 6. Just start talking and your thoughts will come back very soon. I hope you find the above tips useful and handy to help your ace interview on that important day. And here's a quote which really sums up what I taught in this episode. Be confident. Too many days are wasted comparing ourselves to others and wishing to be something we aren't. Everybody has their own strengths and weaknesses and it's only when you accept everything you are and aren't that you will truly succeed. Thank you so much and all the blessings to you in your future interviews.